Well, greetings, VAC fans, especially those that enjoy closed room particle tests, because that's what we're going to do here today. So I've got three Bissell bagless machines. On the left, I've got my turbo. In the center, I've got the Helix. And over to the right, I have the Power Force Compact. So let's close off this room. And you've seen this if you've been following my channel for a while, but I have a room that has about 900 cubic feet of air in it. It has obviously walls, it has furniture, bed, dresser, and it has carpet. So let's see just how poorly uh, these Bissells managed to spew with just an air cleaning test. And we need to get a room baseline. There we go. I'm going to start out with this guy. Here's my timer. And I have, I'm going to put each machine underneath this particular piece of wood. And the reason is I don't want it to possibly burn or tear the carpet because this, for my new viewers out there, this brush roll is going to spin non-stop for about 10 minutes. So just to be on the safe side, I put it up on this piece of wood. Okay, so there's our baseline. A few seconds left. We get four measurements. You can see we're eh, kind of close to 12,000, 0 0.3 micron particles about 42 and a half micron particles and nothing for the big ones. So away we go. at a closed room.
certainly is still in the green, but the particle count definitely went up. Of course, this machine, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't think was ever really advertised as fully sealed HEPA. Okay, so let's move on to the helix in the middle there. See how it did after 10 minutes. Incidentally, you'll see that the particle counter <laughs> wobbles a bit, and that's because right there where the exhaust air comes out, it comes out so forceful. The particle counter is about four feet up in the air and at least four feet away from that helix. And it actually is blowing it on the stand that I have it installed on. So it's just unbelievable. The air comes up and just wobbles that stand. Okay, so there's what we ended up with for the helix. Now let's move on to the compact.
and let's see what the final results are for the very inexpensive compact. Well, certainly the particle count went up. We can definitely say that. But you know what? Like I've mentioned many times before, that little vertical white bar right there is still well into the green. So if you keep the uh, if you keep this machine, you know, its filters clean, it's not going to spew on you when you vacuum up regular house dirt. No matter what you think of these very inexpensive Bissels, all of them are fairly reasonable as far as using them in oh, an average day-to-day -day cleaning routine. So none of them actually appreciably clean the air in any way, shape, or form, but they don't increase particles to such a degree to create something that's, that's worrisome. Now, obviously these machines are, are used and the two on the left were curb fines. The one on the right was uh, a thrift store fine a number of years ago. So they are definitely not in new condition. And in, maybe you could say, used and abused condition, they're just not really creating terrible air quality, as uh, the particle counter definitely denotes. So if you have one of these machines and you can bring it up to reasonable quality by cleaning the filters and uh, the bins and you know uh, whatever else that you you need to clean in there you know any kind of various seals that, that might exist you'll have a machine that will work just fine so please remember that a 10 minute closed room air test is a real torture test for a machine and only um, full HEPA machines and or fully sealed machines manage to lower the particle count. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.